Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today what we have in is a uh, couple of uh, uh, instruments from Cool Ants. You guys had asked for flow rates on these blocks and so we reached out to Cool Ants and we talked to them about exactly uh, what they thought we needed for this and uh, this is what we got in from them and I wanted to go back and uh, show you this real quick. So this was the uh, original unit I was looking at here, which is the DCB FM1. And this is actually gonna be our display unit, which will uh, show us exactly our liters per minute or gallon per minute or Hertz flow. Uh, probably should open that one last, but we'll get back to that. So the FM19 right here, so this is the Cool Ants INS FM19. And what this is, is a flow meter. You can look in there, see the little uh, propeller basically that measures the flow. You have a sight glass over here on this side and obviously your uh, exit. So our FM19 will plug into our FM01 display module. And uh, this one will measure down to 1.0 liters per minute which should be good for our desktop they also make this one which is the it's the fm 18d and this was the uh the one i liked a little bit better the ins fm 18d is a uh, self-contained unit you can see it's got the flow meter on the back side there However, this particular unit will not measure down as low in terms of uh, in terms of liters per minute. So it may not be suitable for all of our desktop uses, but you can see it's uh, suitable for six millimeter, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter ID tubing, which that's pretty cool. So how are we gonna get all this plumbed in? So as you might be aware, for all of our uh, desktop setups, this is a uh, this is the XSPC Raystorm Pro. This happens to be set up for uh, AM4 sockets. You see the plate right there. Got our one piece uh, pigtails on here. And what we use is these Coolant's QD quick release fittings that allow us to um, plug uh, plug blocks into our loop pretty easily without having to drain our loop. So what we're going to do is we are going to fit out our uh, FM19 with these quick disconnect fittings, and I'll show you those real quick. So these are both of our Coolant's QD3 uh, setups. We have one male, one female. Let me uh, get these out of the packaging real quick. Here are our fittings, and uh, you'll see these have protected covers on them. If you ever use these at home, I suggest you uh, keep hold of these. So anytime you have them off, you want to keep these. Uh, you want to keep these fittings from getting banged up on the end. So what you have here is you have a little plunger down inside here. You a little plunger down in here. Obviously it's the male, it's the female. When you fit these together, and that's it. So you can put these together that quickly and not lose any fluid at all. Let me see if I can get it back apart here without actually, there you go. So there is a little bit of an art form to opening these correctly. Once they're, uh, once they're locked in, you pull back. Once they get under pressure, they're a little bit different. Once you pull back, if you'll push in a little bit, you'll be able to release it, and you'll see that plunger catch. And spec on these is less than a um, milliliter of fluid lost. And you can get away with getting just a drop out of there. But So what we're going to do is we're going to fit these to our FM19D. So here's our FM19D. These have G quarter threads on a... Uh, each end. So what we've done, we've got G, G three quarter thread here, G three quarter thread here. These are both compression fittings. So what we'll do is we'll adjust the flow. So flow direction, as you can see right there, going that way. So we know if we're coming from our block or going, uh, say, to our block, we want to set this up after our block, which would be a obvious way you'd want to do that. So if we're coming from our block we would have to have a female fitting right here. And we'd have our male fitting on the other end, so we can plumb it into our system. Of 
once we get that plugged into our display, then we'll have a uh, we'll have a uh, fully self-sufficient flow rate gauge. So we're going to see how it works, and we're going to get testing with that over the holidays, and uh, let you know how it works. This is Kyle Bennett with HardoCP.com.